Hi everyone, welcome to Wandering Art. Alexis here. So today I'm going to show you guys how I made these black, white, and gold coasters. I got this coaster mold from Bear Mountain Designs, and it's actually just called the Geode Mold, but it works perfectly for coasters. And it is a silicone mold. I did not have to use any release spray or anything like that. They just popped out perfectly after, you know, I think it was around 12 to 24 hours. I don't know exactly. I usually let them stay in there longer just because you don't want to take them out and then they harden in an odd shape. For the edge of these coasters, I used gold gilding paint. I really love the way the gold gilding paint looks. I think that it's fantastic for coaster edges, and I may even get some silver gilding paint in the future to use for different colors of coasters. Um, for the inside of the coasters, the colors that I used, the black and the white were just plain acrylic paint, and then the gold is pinata gold alcohol ink. You guys know I love my gold alcohol ink. I did not mix it with any resin. I just put two little drops in the edge of the coasters and then used a toothpick stick to spread it around. And I think that the big thing for doing coasters like this is to pick colors that are appealing. So I went with black, white, and gold. You can't go wrong there. And I'm definitely going to do some ocean ones and some really fun Halloween ones. If you guys have any specific colors that you would like to see, or any just like um, cool themed ideas, let me know in the comments. I'd love to do them. I also have one other coaster set that I'm going to be showing you guys in probably my next video. I wanted to see just what kind of coasters everyone prefers. I think these look really cool when you set them all together. There'll be some pictures at the end so you guys can see what it looks like. It just looks like a really cute circular geode and the colors in the middle, it just it looks really cool. And there is a clip of the unmolding so you guys can see how easy this comes out. And of course a video of what they all look like in the sunlight when they're completely done and with the gilding paint on the edges. I'm super happy with the way they turned out. Um, as you know, and if you don't know, you cannot control resin. It's really just going to take on a mind of its own and do whatever it wants. So I think you kind of need to watch your coasters so that, you know, all of the certain colors not going to one side. Um, I kept kind of going through with the toothpick and kind of making the little designs that I wanted. And I thought that the, um, the gold was kind of migrating to the middle of the coaster, so you have to just watch it and pay attention. And also, when you are using alcohol ink, if you do use it, you need to be very careful not to use too much because gold and silver alcohol inks can really take over. So that's why I only used two tiny drops in the coasters. Let me know what you guys think of the coasters, what you think of the colors and the ink in it. And if you guys like this type of coaster, like the shape um, and the, the geo design of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to link in the description below where you can um, buy these coasters from me. A um, subscriber of mine said that I should kind of let you guys know like what I charge. So you guys can check that out. It will be the first link to my shop so you can, um, these are for sale and of course I'm going to be making a ton more, especially Halloween ones coming up soon. So you guys can go check out my shop and um, thank you guys so much for all the support. As always, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and I will catch you all later. Bye.
So here are the finished pieces. And I painted the edges with the gold gilding paint. Some of them you can see through the this part a little bit. Like this one here is a little clear. But the white kind of came down in a lot of them. But I really like them. I think they're really pretty. So for my first time doing this, I'm really happy. I like the colors, I like everything. And I'm going to put the information to get this mold in the description along with all the materials. So check that out.